All right, so the archaea uh, are the other group of prokaryotic cells uh, that we study along with the bacteria. Uh, and now we're going to compare um, or look at some of the variations they have in their cell wall. So uh, an archaea is going to have its cell membrane. And as far as the membrane goes, um, for an archaea, very similar in structure to, to our cells or bacterial cells with certain variations. Um, so they can have unique uh, fatty acids that are part of the phospholipids. Uh, and as a result, there could be different types of bonds, there could be branching structures, and there can even be the bonding of um, fatty acid tails from one side of a phospholipid bilayer and fatty acid tails from the other side of the phospholipid bilayer so that, uh, for example, if these are the polar heads uh, of the phospholipids and these are the nonpolar fatty acid tails that what we could see in uh, archaea uh, is actually um, some bonding specifically between the fatty acid tails so that they're connected from one side to the other. So it sort of makes it a, a mono layer really um, in this sense. But generically the same structure with specific unique chemical variation. So that's the idea here. Um, there's some unique chemical variation. But when people sometimes say, oh, they don't have that or that it's something totally different, it's really, they're talking about it at a very specific chemical level. Um, in general, generically, if you kind of get the basic idea of what is a cell membrane and the phospholipids and the bilayer and the organization, they have that, but then they have something slightly different. This is going to be the same thing as we talk about the cell wall. People say, oh, they don't have a peptidoglycan. Well, they do have something that's very similar to the peptidoglycan. So they do have cell walls in general. Some of them can lack it, uh, like the mycoplasmas, but um, most of them are going to have something. So what is that something? Well, some of them will have just an S layer. So we talked about the, the protein S layer that can be found outside the cell wall. Well, in this case, the S layer is the cell wall. So that highly organized layer of proteins that's outside the cell membrane, that's one option, okay, the one, one type of variation for the archaea. So this is all membrane here. Uh, some are going to have the S layer and then another sort of unique protein layer. So a second protein layer outside the S layer. That's another variation, so that's the cell wall. Some will then have okay, the membrane, and then I'll use this to kind of represent um, cell wall like material that's like the peptidoglycan. So, peptid. Glycan G O Y like, and it's called pseudo murin. Okay. So, how's it like a peptidoglycan? Pretty much organized the same way. Okay, you have two repeating sugar units. And those repeating sugar units um, in peptidoglycans, we had NAG and NAM, but they don't have NAM. Okay, so it's NAT, uh, it's a different, uh, different sugar. So how is pseudomere different? Uh, different sugar than NAM, so NAM missing. Uh, the bond, the glycosidic link between the sugars is slightly different. So when we talk about sugar linkages, sometimes we talk about the carbons from one sugar that links to another sugar, like a 1,4 linkage or a 1,6 linkage, that type of thing. In this case, it is 
alcohol. So that's what's different. So at a very specific chemical level, there's that slight variation. So does this look a lot like um, the structure of peptidoglycan? Yes, is it exactly the same? No, it's something that's slightly different with unique variation, but very much the same. And so they would have then uh, repeating layers of these. So just so I can draw another layer. Join that layer together. So you should, if hopefully you've studied the peptidoglycan, um, so you know what we're talking about here. Now another variation here is that um, the way in which they're joined together. So in the um, peptidoglycan, we have uh, little groups of amino acids that are attached to the sugars. Oops, I wrote in there. Yeah, been G. Um, those four amino acids, then there's a draw this here. And then there's a peptide cross bridge that joins them together. What's different here? Different different amino acids. Okay, so the amino acids are different. There's a different form of the amino acids uh, here, and some of the amino acids themselves can be different in it. But overall, in general, there's a peptidoglycan layer. Uh, there's a peptidoglycan-like structure found in archaea um, with just slightly different chemistry. Okay, uh, and this is called pseudomurin, right? and that's another variation. Oh, no card there. Okay. Um, and that's that's you know there there are slightly other variations where you get different uh, than other types of layers. So you could have this plus the S layer, you know, outside like we had in uh, bacteria. So membrane, the pseudomurin layer, and then the S layer type structure okay, like this. So we kind of could use these as our our frame of reference. So archaea can either have no cell wall, some, some lack it, uh, or they have a cell wall that's made up of similar things that we see in bacteria, but organized in a slightly different way. So just the S layer, S layer plus an additional protein layer, uh, they could see the, the membrane layer, or sorry, the membrane layer plus a peptidoglycan-like pseudomurin. Uh, we could see an S layer on top of that, and then we can see also um, some of the variation of this, I'll put it here with something else, um, a sugar layer, so a polysaccharide layer can also be found outside. So as, a, as another variation, some may have it and some, some may not have it. All right, so the archaea, another group of prokaryotic cells, uh, have some type of cell wall typically, uh, but they have a variation that really there's like six unique types that are specifically laid out with variations of these uh, other layers outside them. Right. So just keep that in mind as you're studying it, kind of have a little more uh, detailed information about pseudomurin, but the rest of it's just kind of generic um, layers that they can have to make up 